Okay, um, welcome back to One Life, One Voice, One Dream. And uh, today we have Bonga Gianni. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so, Bonga Jen, tell us about yourself, uh, tell us what you're studying, and uh, yeah, well, let's go. Okay, so I'm Bonga, and yeah. uh, I'm studying a Bachelor of Music and Dance, mm -hmm. majoring in ballet and teaching. Are you okay. familiar with the term yeah. American Dream? Yes, I am. Uh, people, you know, people do, you know, to, to achieve success and basically be wealthy, you know, there's people who chase after the world and not the dream. You know, also it's it's referred to as the American dream, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, as an individual, would you actually like uh, advise people to follow their dreams, or would you advise people, you know, to work hard and get the money? Or are you a are you a, a money person, or are you a dream person? I'm more of a dream person because money can't make happiness. Mm -hmm. I believe that with dream. You become happy, mm. and through that you strive more to okay. what you really want at the okay. end of the day. So. The day, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, like um, you said, you do you study dance? Dance. Like um, do you find yourself ever just waiting for the weekend, or for you is every day almost a weekend? In a sense, I don't know if I understand. Mm -hmm. Like um, is every day? Do you wake up and like enjoying and and, and looking forward to to the day? Okay, well, whenever I wake up, I look forward to being a studio mm. because that's my life. Like, Where? that's my home in a studio. In a studio, okay. that's my home. That's like, your home. I look forward to it because I'm here for dance. Mm. And I'm, I'm born to show my talent and to live in a talent in a studio. Like, dancing for me is like my oxygen, you know what I mean? Like, what what I you breathe? Happy. What you breathe? Yeah, so I've got to breathe every day and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. And, um, Okay, I'm sure you also do things like theory where you write yeah. and read. How do you find that? Like, it helps a lot uh -huh. because we do like anatomy, okay. which is learning about like organs and blood mm -hmm. and body and everything, mm -hmm. history of dance, African history. Um, the, the theory wise that we do is more inspiring, inspiring. because it's related to like what I want to do okay, okay. with my life mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. other, other, faculties, other faculties and stuff. The theory there is like, <laughs> what, what's going on now? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. And uh, I love that you say that because like, um, basically what you're telling me is that you enjoy things that are, are practical, things that are going to actually improve your ability to perform mm -hmm. and, and, and things that are going to fuel your dream. Basically, that's what you're saying. Okay, and um, well, uh, you told me something about your mom. Yeah, um, my mother is against the arts. Like, she's against dance, music, art, drama. She's more like medicine, law and stuff. Mm, is it? She believes that dance is like being in a room and like giant <laughs> Like I said, like that's dance for her in a way. Um, she thinks like there's no money. There's no money, uh -huh. nothing, But like, in every, in every art form, people must understand this. Everyone, parents as well. Okay. That in the arts, okay. there are more ways of making money. Mm -hmm. There are things called behind the, the scene. scene. This, behind the scene, and I exactly. love that. You know, because I for one believe that you know, that as a as a person who loves music, you know, I can not only I can make music, but I can produce it. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like okay, like I feel like if I can be there, you know, and do it and do it with a passion, I can not only provide for my family but I can also enjoy it at the end of the day. I don't know if you feel me. Yeah, you know? I can tell you exactly. mm. And so like what, what, what did your mom uh, actually what, what how did your mom take it and what did she you know what did she do and what well, like she said like at first she like didn't understand it. But then I feel like she still doesn't understand it like now mm -hmm. but then like she gave up. Mm, in she a gave way. Up. She she gave up because like she knew that like I'm going to do it at the end of so, like, what was your attitude towards actually making your mom understand, you know? What was your attitude? Like, what, what, why are you so lucky, you know? Why are you so lucky to do what you love? I think because, like, 